So following on from our last tutorial uh, of actually rendering out a turntable from Maya, let's just look at how we can actually bring this together and turn it into a video file. So I'm in Premiere here, this is CC 2018, but to be honest, this is pretty much the same in a lot of versions of Premiere and other software as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is a new project. I've set a location for this, I'm just gonna give this a name. Okay, so bat 360 tut edit. And okay that, just like this build. So what I need to do is import the footage and there's a particular way. I can drag and drop this in, but actually I want to do this in a specific way. So down here we have our content browser. I'm just gonna right click in this import media to start. Oh, we can go to file import as well. So I can right click and import. I'm going to find my renders. So, so this is in the images folder. This is within my project folder that I'd set. And, and this is one I'd rendered previously. So I've got this turntable camera and bat render. So I'm going to click on the first image in this sequence. And I'm just going to make sure that this box here is checked. Image sequence. I don't need to click them all. I just need to click on the first one with this checked. And then click open. So if I double click on this. You know, played back. There we go. It's just playing back a little slow on this. Okay. What I'm going to do first of all, actually, because this is coming at a um, frame rate of 25 frames a second. Remember, in Maya, I had that set to 24. So I'm just going to right click on this footage. I'm going to go to Modify, Interpret Footage. I'm going to assume a new frame rate. And I'm going to set this to 24. And just OK this. And now that that's set, what I can do is I can make a new timeline from this so we can output it. So the easiest way to do this is just drag this sequence over here. And that creates a new timeline from there. Just run it a little bit slow. It may just be the capture that's happening as well. So actually, it may not play. It is sort of playing real time. You can see it's, it's just jittering a little bit. Um, I have got Premiere Open and Maya and Screen Capture and some other things as well. But when it's rendered out, it should all be fine. Okay. Um, I'm just noticing um, this is a little dark comparatively to what I rendered out at. So I'm just going to just change something quickly. I'm just going to go in. Um, down here, so I've just extended this content browser out, so I can just see this button down here, which is a new item. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go into Adjustment Layer. Just OK this. I'm going to drag this Adjustment Layer over the top on a new video track. So this is a Premiere tutorial, just showing you for, for people who are doing 3D that might not have used Premiere before, so just the very basics. So I've just dragged this out to the length of our render. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go, if I click on this button here, we can get some different options. I'm going to go to, into the effects option. And if I just go in into the search and just type gamma, under this image control, we have this gamma correction. I'm going to drag this over to my adjustment layer and get a little plus. I can just drop that on there. And then with that selected, let me just go back to my project. With that selected, up here, I can go into my effect controls. Here we have our gamma. I'm going to turn this down maybe to about five. Okay, maybe about six. So just to adjust that gamma setting. Yeah, that's okay. So once I've got that, um, I can just simply render this out. So uh, to, to render this, once we're happy with all of this, and you could create text as well and do things like the poly count on there if you wanted to. Um, I can go to File. I can go to Export, Media. We can set this as, I'd probably recommend the H.264, which is an MP4. It's a really good compression, uh, compression, keeping the quality of that, uh, but keeping it quite a small file size. 
we would just set an output file, output name and an output folder. Obviously, if we haven't got audio on, I could uh, take that off, or you could put an audio file in here as well. Just import that into Premiere, drag and drop it into the timeline. And then we can just click on export to export that out. And that would give us our final exported video. It's a final thing. Um, if you did want to create something like a vignette effect on this, uh, we can do that quite quickly. Um, again, a couple of ways of doing this. To show you one way, so down to this new item again and back in my content area, my project area. Uh, click on the new item. I'm going to create a color mat. So, okay, this I'm going to set this to black. Okay, I do have another video layer up here, so I'm just going to drag this and drop it on top of everything. Again, just drag this out. And then I'm still in my effects, uh, effect controls. So in here, I'm just going to click on this create ellipse mask to create an ellipse. And it's going to drag this out. Drag this out here. And what I'm going to actually going to do is click on, we've got a button here to invert this. So I'm just going to invert that out. And just sort of play with this. Then what we can do, uh, we can just use this mask feather. So I'm going to feather this out quite a bit. And what I may do is just, just bring these out a little bit. So just to suit to taste. So I have something like that. Okay. And then I can go into the overall opacity for this. I'm just going to click this start watch off. Um, I don't want to animate this. I just want to set the value down. So I'm just going to take this down just to blend that out a little bit. So that's just giving this Bit of a vignette effect on there. I might take this down just a little bit more. And you can still go in and, and play around with the um, actual area itself. Okay, maybe just bring it back up a bit. So maybe something like that. Oops, wrong one. So uh, again, it's something if you do want that kind of effect, uh, you can just put on that quite quick in Premiere before you export that. So that's just looking at how to bring our, our image sequence into Premiere and export that out.